Ruben Amarim was confirmed as the man to succeed Eric Ten Hag at Old Trafford back on November 1st, but he did not start his new job until November 11th, as he served a notice period at former club Sporting Lisbon. The 39-year-old is widely regarded as one of Europe's top coaches, and he finally got to work at United's Carrington training ground this week. Ruben Amarim has overseen his first training session as Manchester United head coach. The training session happened at Carrington on Monday, and it was an amazing moment as the Portuguese met a group of players at our base, with the international break still ongoing. Amarim did not have a full squad of first-team players to work with, because many of his top stars were on international duty. However, the likes of Marcus Rashford, Kabi Mainu, Casemiro, Luke Shaw and Lenny Yoro all took part in Monday's session. Kabi Mainu continued to build back to fitness with the group, following an injury against Aston Villa in October, while Ahmad also took part after missing international duty with Ivory Coast due to a knock picked up against Leicester City. Defenders Luke Shaw, Tyrell Malaysia and Lenny Yoro were also part of the session, as they continue to work back towards match fitness. Lissandro Martinez and Victor Lindelof are both back at Carrington this week for assessment and treatment, after dropping out of the Argentina and Sweden squads, respectively. With only 10 senior first-team squad members available for training today, Numbers were supplemented by several academy players. Amarim put his players through a series of drills and also set up a practice match. During the session, Amarim appeared to select his strongest available team against a young opposition. Amorim used a 3-4-3 formation during the majority of his 231 games in charge of sporting, and it appears as though he is keen to stick with that system. Footage from Monday's training session was shared via United's social media channels, and it left eagle-eyed fans intrigued by what they saw. After studying various clips, we deemed that Amarim had gone with Yoro, Johnny Evans, and Shaw as his back three. The midfield four was seemingly Antony, Casemiro, Mainu, and Terrell Malaysia, with Ahmad Diallo, Rashford, and Mason Mount as the three most attacking players. It appears Amorim is playing Marcus Rashford centrally as number nine. What do you think of that? That is not to say, the 10 outfield players who teamed up in training will all start against Ipswich on Sunday in Amarim's first game in charge. However, it is probable that Amarim will set up his team in a 3-4-3 shape at Portman Road. United will start next weekend 13th in the Premier League table with just 15 points from their first 11 fixtures this season. After taking on Ipswich, United will host Bodo Glimt in the UEFA Europa League four days later. United have taken six points from a possible 12 in Europe so far this term, having drawn against Twente, Porto and Fenerbahce before beating Pauk Salonika. Amarim's first game in charge is rapidly approaching, as the Reds face Ipswich Town in the Premier League at Portman Road on Sunday. Amarim will get his first opportunity to work with the full squad after the international players return later this week. Before you go, I want to hear your thoughts on Ruben Amorim's bold 3-4-3 setup. Do you think this setup is the solution United needs? And are the current group of players ideal for this system? Let's spark a debate in the comments section. If you're loving the insights, smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss exclusive updates on Amorim's tactics, player fitness, and everything happening at Old Trafford. And hey, what's your dream lineup for Ipswich this weekend? Drop it below. Stay tuned, more exciting content is coming your way. See you in the next video.